You're not a happy camper, are you? Are you mad? Are you gonna come for me? Are you gonna fight me? Are you mad, bro? But you're the cutest mad bunny I ever seen. <laughs> I love you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel um, and welcome if you are new. I am Danielle and if you didn't know, I make lots of animal videos, all of my own animals. I have a whole zoo here that we care for. So yeah, I like to make videos for you guys and I hope that you enjoy it. And just remember to subscribe if you'd like to. And if you like the video, give it a nice big thumbs up. But today's video is going to be actually another vet visit. My life is kind of full of vet visits because of course when you have a bunch of animals, there's bound to be some things that go on that they need the vet for. So let's get into the video. So of course, once the cat carriers come out, or I shouldn't say cat because these are actually for the bunnies, it usually means that I am on my way to the vet. So the reason why this vet visit had to happen was mostly because of Little T. Little T, actually, it was really weird. Um, the night before this vet visit, he was acting a little off. Like, he just was acting really, really nervous and, like, scared of something. So as far as him, like, being nervous, that's pretty normal for him. He is my most nervous bunny. Um, just in general, he's just a very scared, untrusting bunny. And I've accepted him for who he is. We've been working with with him he's gotten a little bit better but he's still really nervous of things so when I saw him like super scared I wasn't really sure what to think I actually thought that maybe one of the bunnies got out of like their pens or their room um, Kip likes to sneak out and I had just gotten home from work and I was like well if he had gotten out he would have been out the whole time and I knew like I had seen Kip in his room before I left so I wasn't really like too concerned but I did look around I looked in the room and there Kip was so everybody was where they were supposed to be and nobody was like doing anything that they shouldn't so I was just a little weirded out but I just went to bed you know did well I did all my animal stuff and then I went to bed the next morning I went downstairs to take care of everybody and I had noticed that little T was like shaking his head it was like one of his ears he was holding down a little bit and he was shaking it and I was like oh great like at first I thought maybe it's an ear infection and I was worried about that um, so I wasn't really sure. So of course I thought, well, guess we're going to the vet, which isn't a huge deal. Luckily my vet will get me in pretty fast. So I'm pretty thankful for that. They're, they're really, really good about getting me in. Um, knowing that like small animals, like it's so, so, so important to bring them in. Like as soon as you see any kind of symptoms, um, because they're prey animals, they don't show any signs of sickness until it's really kind of like bad. Here's little T, um, obviously at the vet. He's not very happy, but here he is. Aww. So that was pretty much the main reason of our visit, but I had noticed actually in the video of me like feeding my bunnies their salad that like Jerry was being a little weird about eating his salad. Last year, I don't remember exactly the date, but it's been probably about a year. Um, he had slowed down his consumption of veggies before. So when that happened, I brought him to the vet. Um, he was still eating like pellets and stuff, but he had slowed down just with his veggies. Like he wasn't excited for them. He just wouldn't eat them. And I was just like, well, that's weird. So I went to the vet and it turns out his teeth needed to be filed. So his back molars needed to be filed. So my vet had told me that this is probably going to be a continual problem. It's not something that I did as far as care wise. Um, what he said is it's probably in his genetics that I guess lion heads, it's kind of common. And he told me like, there's really not much I can do besides what I've already been doing. I mean, they have like Willow and he, he's got stuff to chew. Like he's okay. It's just something that happens. I had to kind of keep my eyes open for any like little slow change of anything and then I would bring him back in. My other option is obviously to bring him in for a checkup and they would just look and see. Um, but I think I'm going to have to probably do it twice a year now um, just to be sure. So since Jerry was acting a little off as far as like eating his veggies, I was like, you know, might as well see if my vet can take both of them because him slowing down and showing any kinds of signs like that as far as like not being interested in his veggies, it's a huge deal and I just needed to get on top of everything if he did need to get like his teeth trimmed again. 
So here we are at the vet, and as you can see, they're all pretty stressed out. I did bring Snowy with Jerry because I do not like to separate them at all, but yeah, here they are. So we are home, and I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Here's Little T, and basically what happened was Dr. Ford looked in his ears, and in his right ear, he found a hair, like a whisker thickness, so like the hair was really thick like a whisker would be. He found that <laughs> growing out of his eardrum, which of course was literally the first time this doctor had ever seen this and say of course because I feel like I always get like the crazy things that happen. It's just my luck. So basically what he did was he took some saline, so some water solution and put some in his ear and he used a Q-tip and it worked. Um, we have no idea where it went, but his little air whisker either it was growing out of the eardrum or some kind of weird hair or whisker got inside of his ear somehow but either way that's taken care of so the doctor did tell me that he may be shaking his head a little bit tonight but it should stop if it doesn't stop then obviously it's not the end of that and we'll have to go back and figure out what's going on but other than that he's really healthy and he's doing well Let's cross our fingers that that's exactly what was bothering him and everything's good. So we're back home with Jerry and I was right. <laughs> um, basically, to put it lightly, I it was last year sometime, I can't remember exactly, but last year sometime he kind of like just stopped eating um, and what I noticed was he had slowed down on his veggie consumption but he had also like stopped eating his hay. So at that time I was just like freaking out and I brought him to the vet thinking that he was like in stasis and obviously he could have very well been going into stasis if I had let it go on too long. They checked out his teeth and he needed his back molars trimmed, like filed down and stuff, the spurs and whatever. So he had his um, back molars trimmed then and now obviously that I've noticed him like slowing down on his veggie consumption again, I had decided to bring him into the vet just to get him checked because I figured he would probably be due for another molar filing, which I was right. That's exactly what was going on. When the doctor looked in his mouth, he saw that like he had red source marks on his cheeks and his tongue which means that there's like spurs on the molars so he basically gassed him down and was able to file them down probably took about a half hour or so he was really only out for 20 minutes but they had to give him some time to wake up before obviously i took him and yeah so they gave me him back and right away he was like once he went in his carrier he like hopped from the towel into the carrier like he was already awake enough and then he was like digging in the blankets that are in the carrier so he was definitely feeling well so that's good so now we're back home and you can see they always have a hairy mess in here um this is literally like i vacuumed this it just it's ridiculous that's why i gave him a haircut this summer which i never really <laughs> told you guys but that's why he looks so funky like usually he's a lot fluffier and i don't know he looks a little funny it's been a little crazy so i apologize if like i am out of breath He's peeing over there. Good boy. Um, I apologize if I'm out of breath and if I'm all over the place, but today was a very unexpected day. Like, I was just planning on working today, but like I said, I had woken up this morning, checked on Little T, and he was, like, shaking his ear, and I was freaked out. I've had some pretty bad experiences with bunnies um, in the past, like just going downhill really fast. And so I just wouldn't risk it. So I had emailed my vet. And like I said before, they were able to get me in today, which was amazing. And I'm so thankful for Jerry was put under gas, but like clearly he's doing very well, as you can see. And Snowy's just mad that she had to go for the ride, but she loves her husband. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys, I mean, I, I don't hope you enjoyed that. I had to go to the vet, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!